We're your Dara and Tony Saganya for our Dara and Tony Athlete of the Week. Today we have Guam National Youth Football Federation player Benny Cruz, and here to present him with the check is Lonnie. Lonnie? Congratulations on being Dow Rental Owns Athlete of the Week. Who would you be presenting this check to? I will be presenting this check to the Dr. Shea Packers. All right, Benny, you play running back and linebacker for the Dr. Shea Packers in the Munha division uh, of this year's youth football season. What is it about football that you enjoy so much? I enjoy about how fun it is and exciting and how I get to run the ball a lot and how I get to tackle other people. We play with teamwork, discipline, execution, and we always listen to our coach, whatever he says. All right, you, uh, you set a goal for yourself in the beginning of the season of uh, scoring 10 touchdowns. Right now you have 13 uh, ending the regular season. Uh, why did you set the goal so high for yourself as a running back? Because last year when I was a running back, actually I was a fullback, I never got to make any touchdowns, so this year I want to prove myself that I can make touchdowns. What helped me be such a good, a good running back is how my coach trained us, me, and how he disciplined us. I'll give a shout out to the offensive of the Packers. Okay, uh, you're heading into the playoffs this weekend against the Cowboys. Uh, what are going to be some of the keys to uh, you guys hopefully winning this game and, and advancing on in the playoffs? Being disciplined, executed, and listening to our coach. This year's season was better than last year. It was better this year because last year we were a little bit confused, but this year now we're working on teamwork. All right, congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dara and Tone Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Tomorrow evening at Two Lovers Point, local runners will get a chance to hit the course for an exciting zombie apocalypse-themed run. Showtime is at 5.30 p.m. With the race getting underway at sunset, Runners must bring their own headlamps to take part in the event. Those who do not have headlamps will not be allowed to participate. For more information, check out the link on the Guam Triathlon Facebook page or register at the day of the race at a cost of $30. Now for some football news, the Seahawks in San Francisco taking on the 49ers for some Thursday night football. Russell Wilson was sacked five times today and was picked off twice. Wilson did manage to pass for 235 yards and a touchdown to Tyler Lockett. Running back Marshawn Lynch rushed for a touchdown to go along with 122 yards on the ground on 27 carries. Colin Kaepernick was held to 124 yards passing and was sacked six times. Seahawks get the win 20-3. Defensively, Seattle limited the 49ers to only 61 yards rushing on the ground. 